Alright, hello YouTube. It's Sheriff McDaniel back with another episode of LCPDFR. Uh, today we're in Algonquin, as you can see. Um, we're at the uh, San Juan Topaz Street Police Department. Uh, we're not working with the Sheriff's Office today. Um, as you see, we are in first person right now. Um, so, we are with the uh, St. Louis County Police Department. Uh, we're our, we are the supervisor on shift for tonight's patrol. Um, so that's what we're going with tonight. Um, now this uh, texture can be found at lcpdfr.com. Link links as always will be in the description for all the mods. Um, pretty much all the cars and stuff are that I use are on lcpdfr.com. Uh, of course, also, as always, my second YouTube channel will be uh, is always in the description below, so feel free to head over and check that out as well. Um, so with that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get right on in today to today's episode and get out on patrol. So um, here's uh, what's going to be going on uh, for the future of this channel. Um, this channel will, um, soon enough be, um, switching over to LSPDFR eventually. Um, not that I'm going to be getting rid of LCPDFR. I'm not. That's just not something I'm going to do. I'm not going to get rid of this, uh, series. Um, I am keeping LCPDFR permanently for, at least for good majority of the time we're going to keep LCPDFR going on this channel as long as we can um, now I am still going to be building my desktop computer I am looking at a, another computer as of right now um, what to where I can run both Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5 on it um, I'm not going to give any clues out as what kind of computer it is, um, and hopefully, um, hopefully soon I won't be recording with Bandicam anymore. I'm hoping to get away from Bandicam. I'm hoping to either get uh, into using uh, Fraps or another recording software um, for recording purposes. Because recording with Bandicam, I've noticed it really lags my game down. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's what's gonna happen hopefully within the next, within the next, new, uh, probably hopefully after the new year, uh, we're gonna try to be recording uh, other content on this channel. Um, eventually, um, uh, hopefully. Uh, within the next year and hopefully once I have the new computer I'll be able to also start maybe recording um, American Truck Sim I'm hoping uh, I'm not gonna promise that folks um, so yeah um, it's still the same cars that are in um, as far as the civilian model cars uh, like I said um, Hopefully, uh, this new, the next, for 2017, we're gonna try to get other content up on this channel. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna give any of the, uh, any hints away at what kind of, uh, computer I'm looking at at this point in time. Seriously? You're gonna put a cigarette out? A cigarette out in your landlord's eye. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I did not hear that. Um, gotta love the AI in Grand Theft Auto 4. They come up with the most random shit to say. Um, but, um, hopefully soon enough we will be, uh, we'll be recording other games. Uh, like I said, like American Truck Sim, um, eventually, that's what we're shooting for, um, on this channel. 
Um, also, um, folks, I am hoping that once uh, the next... Uh, once uh, that Police 1013 game uh, comes out uh, through Steam, I'm going to try to get it through Steam because uh, from the way uh, the developer is talking, he's going to be putting it out on Steam first and then eventually uh, transitioning it over to, piece, over to the disc for the PC and uh, the consoles for Xbox One and PS4. So let's see what that was that uh, set us off. Okay, it's okay. It's that cab right there. Uh, if you're wondering what this uh, tool is I'm using, this is called uh, the GTA Policing Tools. And so that's uh, what that script is. That's what you just heard. What? That's why you heard the beep. I use this script for the um, spotlight. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm, I really do hope that once Police 1013 comes out, pull the car to the side! I'm kind of anxious to see it once it does release, um, hopefully when it does release, it, hopefully it is actually going to be a decent game, for, but from what I'm hearing and seeing, on their forums, it's looking like it's coming, gonna be a pretty decent game. Um, so, and also, folks, hopefully, with the next uh, videos we're gonna be doing um, on this channel with more LCPDFR and more LSPDFR, well, starting on LSPDFR, uh, hopefully, the lag isn't gonna be as bad of an issue. Uh, and yes, folks, we are using the St. Louis uh, County Sheriff Ped uh, skins. Um, you realize you're driving like a jackass back there? You got ID? Anyhow, um, I had to. I ended up exporting Thank the uh, original textures for the original Peds because I was having issues with the actual model, so I uh, just. I exported them onto a different PED model, um, but then again, that's just me. That's the way I wanted to do it. Okay, this guy's clean and clear. No warrants. He's got a valid license. He's been stopped four times, and he's been cited three times. Um, no, well, he's on the break of ending up losing his license, so we're not going to go... We're not going to bother... No guns, no drugs. We're not going to bother Get giving out. him a citation. We're just going to go ahead and let him go with a verbal... Okay, he's going to get out of the cab and walk, probably. Um, if that if that's what he wants to do, that's fine. So, he's going to go ahead and leave the cab here. So, that's actually... That's that's okay. Uh, for now, we're gonna, we're gonna, since he left the cab, we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and get it towed. I'm going to go ahead and get tow truck down here. And then... Uh, We'll go ahead and get back and uh, be 10-8 and back on patrol. So, that's pretty much what's going to be going on, folks, in the future of this channel. I'm I'm very excited to see uh, this channel take a turn and transition away. Not so much fully away from... Grand Theft Auto 4 and LCPFR, but more so transitioning into putting LSPDFR on this channel. Because I've always wanted to try it out. I So I'm hoping that once everything, hopefully everything comes good with this channel and everything, so... Hopefully everything that I'm planning with, hopefully, well, trying to do with getting in another computer and all that. Um, hopefully it all comes through for me in the end. Um, I, 
Yeah, folks, I know this is a little different for a change. Uh, instead of being using constantly using county sheriff's cars and county sheriff's department working in the sheriff's department, uh, today we're tonight. Like I said, we're we're gonna be with the uh, St. Louis County Police Department. Um, for those of you who know um, Jeff Fabiano uh, here on YouTube, he's a very big YouTuber. He's a great guy. I've I've, I really enjoy his content. Uh, I do kind of miss his LCPDFR videos. Um, but, hey, that's just the way it is. And then, of course, uh, Zach and all them guys from Code Zero. They're, they're, from what I understand and from what I've seen of their videos, they seem like decent people. Um, so, I... I I kind of got the inspiration to use the county police of St. Louis uh, from Jeff Fabiano. His content, I kind of find, I find it comical. He is kind of a comical guy. Um, now, these cars that I've got the skins on, this is the Hawthorne Police Pack for Hawthorne, California. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, these textures didn't originally fit these cars because of where the license plate template goes on the original, uh, texture. It sits higher than the, uh, official, uh, license plate texture. Well, well for the official, uh, police license plate on the back of this skin. Um, so... Yeah, um, we're mostly going to be doing doing traffic enforcement, um, watching out for speeders, uh, any equipment violations, uh, stolen vehicles, all that, all the normal police stuff. Yeah, we came awful close to hitting that cab right there. We got very lucky. Um, now, you'll see a, mar a, a blip on the mini-map. Uh, I will show you what that is here in a moment, uh, as soon as we get down there. It's in an underground parking garage. It's a car that I uh, prefer to keep as a personal vehicle. Um, so, yeah, I preferred that. That's a car I just wanted to have as a personal car in-game. I'll uh, explain it once we get to the uh, parking garage where it's at. Um, and the reason you don't see me go through the entire setup process of uh, the game is because that's just me. I don't want to bore you guys. I don't like to bore people. And usually when I'm doing my setup, it's I, it's very quiet. I don't really I don't talk. So that's why I don't ever include that chunk of uh, my uh, my video because I don't ever record that part so um, yeah uh, now usually folks you'll hear me what sounds like spitting in the background uh, usually I that's because usually I have a pinch of snuff in Okay, this guy's definitely got our attention now. So, we'll probably end up pulling him over. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this light to change. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, perform a traffic stop on this cab behind us. Because uh, he came right up on our back. And now he's going to hit us again. So we're going to go ahead and throw our secondary lights on. And as you see, throwing our secondary lights on with this car, it turns on the the bar, a little bit of the bar on the uh, on the back deck of the car and the uh, reverse uh, wigwags. So we're going to go ahead and come on, get moving car. Ok, 
Okay, come on, car. Get moving. Come on, car. Come on. Okay, now my car is stuck. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem, folks. I've never had this happen. And you, uh, yes, folks, usually you do not see me open up my trainer for any reason. Okay, and uh, now I'm stuck in the car. Okay, so what we're going to do, folks, we're going to pause the video here. We're going to fix this issue. So just hang tight. All right, folks, we got the, the issue fixed. We just had to shut off our car and restart the car again. So we're, what we're going to do is we are going to back our cruiser up. We're going to let him get around us. Throw our spotlight on him. Got him lit up. And uh, how how convenient. He's pulling off right here. So once we uh, get, can get get this traffic stop done and conducted, we'll go ahead and not. Uh... Seriously, cab driver? Are you that drunk? Are you drunk or something? Okay, this guy is really obviously stupid. This cab driver can't drive worth a crap. I would say he cannot drive. I'd say he's drunk. And he's probably, uh... He's, a po he's possibly 1055 on us. This guy might be drunk. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to push his car. And, we're going to come back in a sec, uh, once we get him straightened out. Alright, we got him straightened out now. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is... We're going to scoot our car closer. Because for some reason with the brake light mod, it kind of makes it where I have a harder time getting out of the car. Hello. Alright, sir. Uh, my name's Officer Ryan McDaniel with the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. Um, I mean, Liberty County... Yeah, boy. All right, hello, sir. My name's Officer Ryan McDaniel, St. Louis uh, County Police Department. Uh, do you know why I'm stopping you tonight? Well, okay, you don't. Uh, back there at the light, back there, you rear-ended me. What was that for? Look, you're driving like you're drunk. All right, I'm gonna need to see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance for this taxi, please. Much obliged. All right, Emmanuel. All right, Emmanuel. Okay, and we're gonna breathalyze him while we're at it. Okay, he's he passed. He's not drunk. I thought you'd think I think he was. Okay, he's got an expired license. Um, he's got three citations. He's got no warrants. Uh, well, he is going to be getting a, third, a fourth citation tonight for $100 for, uh, hitting a police vehicle and careless driving. I'm going to reduce his charge to, instead of reckless, careless driving. So, alright, and that'll be, uh, will be, uh, code 4, 10 8, and, uh, Okay, good. Pretty routine. Um, 
So we are going to go down in this parking garage down here, this underground one. Just so you folks can see the car that I have down here. Because I have had people ask me in the past what car I use. I usually have what I usually have marked on the mini map. And yes, folks, you've probably seen it just when we were pulling into the garage, but I'm kind of not giving it away deliberately right now. So, but this is the car. All right, it, that car is a 1974 Dodge Monaco. That's the car I use as a personal car. It kind of does look kind of, it looks like very convincing of a cop car uh, because of the color and the way the wheels are. Um, now, back in the 70s, yes, that was a very common car for a police car. I have searched on LCPDFR's website for a model of that as a police car. I have not been able to find one. Now, if anybody knows where I can find it for, uh, Grand Theft, for, G for GTA 4 as a police car, uh, put it in the comments, leave a link to it for me. I'll have I'll definitely check it out. Um, so, yeah, now you see the car that I have have marked on the mini map. Um, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much what's going on. Yeah, and like I said, folks, hopefully soon we'll be getting uh, Grand Theft Auto Five content up on this channel. In a minute, something's wrong with that license plate on that cab. Ah, the license plate's scratched up. Don't do it. And he's gonna do it anyways. Okay, well. Okay, we're gonna go after that cab right, that uh, cabby van right there. We're running on a red light. Um, also, folks, I'm not certain how long this video is going to be. Pull over, asshole! Yeah, that's definitely something you'd let you want to say as a county co as a as a cop to a, uh, a a a civilian, saying "pull over, asshole." Seriously, wow. But okay, we're just going to leave that alone, though. We're not going to say anything else about it. It's kind of redundant. And yes, folks, like I said, this is the Hawth one of the Hawthorne cars. Uh, this is the Slick Top Edition. I do kind of like the way this uh, St. Louis County skin does look on the, a Slick Top. I kind of like it. it. It looks pretty good to me, at least in my opinion. I think it looks nice, but... Some people like uh, like slick top cars. Some people don't. I do. I do like the slick tops. Um, hopefully, maybe what we might do in the next episode, um, depending, might do another uh, patrol with the St. Louis uh, County Police cars. Well, skins. But I think maybe next episode we might do one on a uh, on a uh, charger put a uh, slick top charger in or something. So, we're going to be on uh, Topaz Street uh, with one taxi. It's occupied time. one. Alright, sir. Um, my name is Officer Ryan McDaniel, St. Louis County Police Department. Stopping you tonight for running the red light back there. You realize you're driving like a jackass back there? Okay, I'm gonna need to see your license, registration, proof of insurance, please. You got ID? Yeah. You forgot it at home, huh? All right. Well, uh, run a bre do a breathalyzer on him. Okay, he does come back uh, clean. He didn't. He's not been drinking, so 
what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and get in our car and we're going to run him in the computer. Uh, and the reason you're seeing the background look like that, um, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Okay. G U. Okay, he does have a valid driver's license, he's got no warrants, he's been stopped three times, and he's got three citations. So each time he's been stopped, he's been cited. And he's probably done this more times than you can shake a stick at, probably. So, he's no stranger to being pulled over by the uh, police department. So he's definitely, this is not his first rodeo on getting stopped. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and issue another citation to this guy um, for failure to uh, adhere to a traffic control device. Yeah. Um, now there's some stuff that folks that I can honestly say I'm I can really say I'm looking forward to uh, what Police 1013 is going to look like once it's out. Um, and once uh, it does come out, I am gonna I'm probably gonna what I'm probably gonna end up doing is. Uh, I am going to do a video on it. Um, I am going to preview it in video. Um, depending on the specs for the game. And what the system requirements are for it. I do want to try it out. I'm Okay, hang on folks. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to stop right now. We're going to deal with this lady right here. We're going to get out of our car. But we're going to park our car instead of on the side of the road. We're going to park it right over here. In this... Well, actually, no. No. Because the AI is in there a lot. And I don't... We don't need our car getting... Yeah, so we... Oh! Seriously, you should, this taxi driver is picking up a prostitute right in front of a cop. He's picking up a prostitute right in front of us. Ooh, I like this. I like this. It gives me a reason to pull this cab over. Yeah, go ahead. Get in there, lady. Come on, dude. Pull it over. You already know you're busted. You picked up a prostitute. I mean, my God, are you stupid? And we were just getting ready to deal with her. We were just getting ready to get out of our car to talk to her. I'm just going to ignore him right now. That cab behind us, we're just going to go ahead and ignore him. We really shouldn't ignore that cab, but and so yeah, folks. I did. I am. I do see what that cab did. He did run the light. 
And I just got rear-ended yet again. <sighs> so, what we're gonna do is now, we're gonna get this cab pulled over. So, yeah. I'm hoping he pulls over soon. Okay, he's gonna stop on a hill in the middle of the road. No, he's not. We're not doing that. No, we are not stopping in the middle of the road, dude. LCPD! Let's slow it down! No, we're not stopping in the middle of the road. You pull off where I want you to pull off. Okay, now you're gonna run. And if you, folks, if you're wondering what that si what siren that is, that is the Mastercom B siren uh, by Chris uh, 780 on YouTube. Uh, he is formerly known as uh, Airsoft 780. Uh, he changed his name. His, uh, name. He changed his YouTube name. So. But I, so we're in a pursuit right now. Um, I don't know what street this is currently. Okay, he's 1050. He just flipped his van and he just flipped the cab. Sorry about the background noise. That's my wife. So, if you hear it in the background, that'll be why. Okay, we're coming up to Exeter Avenue now. Okay, we're gonna be making right from northbound on Exeter Avenue. We just made a big circle this time around. We just made a circle. We just made a big circle right there. So he makes another one. Okay, we're not going to okay, we are gonna we are staying with him right now. We have we're not calling we're not gonna call him to uh backup units because every, it's like every time we uh call him backup units they tend to uh, really screw up his face. Okay, we just smacked him with a fucking guy of building. Okay, we are now westbound on Wardite Street. Keep westbound on Wardite. Okay, we are crossing Frankfurt Avenue. Yeah, and, and folks, once I end up getting that new, uh, new computer, I think what I'm gonna do before I real I get really going into recording, I'm going to really work hard on the Drive. Okay, we'll come up to Ivy Drive North, uh, turn south. I'm going to Ivy Drive North. Okay, we got him flipped. He's on the side. He's on the side of this. Cab's on the side. Come on, get out of the car, guy. Okay, we're gonna get out now, and we're gonna have a, draw our gun. 
I draw down on with draw down at him with our gun. Dispatch, suspect is making. Okay. Okay. Put your hands on your head. Okay, we got them both stopped here now. All right. Sorry about that, folks. Had to step away from the uh, computer for a minute and just to see what was going on on why my daughter wasn't listening and why she was crying so <sighs> that comes with the territory folks <sighs> okay I'm getting this guy searched I'm pat this guy and get this guy searched find out who he is and then we're gonna detain him in our car he's gonna get he's guaranteed gonna be arrested anyways for uh For picking up a known prostitute. Okay, so he wouldn't he would not stop resisting. We had to put him down. Uh, we're gonna try to get EMS out here if we can to try to revive this guy. And we're gonna run back to our patrol car and deal with that prostitute. Um, if you're wondering how I crossed there so quickly, it's because I have the fast run enabled. That's why. Okay, so the prostitute is still down here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get her patted down real quick. Hands on head or brains on and then we're going to get her in our car. I'm going to get her searched real quick. Get her in our car. And then we're going to get back over there and deal with the... Uh, if they uh, ca check on the cab driver. If he's going to be able to lit... If he's going to survive, we're going to take him in. Stop, people. You hit me, I will... So, we're going to go ahead and see what she has on her. No so she doesn't have anything on her person. Get here. In our car, now. Alright folks, uh, yeah, usually I don't do edits, but with that issue, ha having, with having that issue, I'm going to have to edit that chunk out. Well, I don't have to, I'm choosing to edit it out. So the cab driver did definitely not did not make it at all. So he's gone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and park our car right here on the sidewalk right here. Eh, actually no, we're gonna move our car. Uh, we're not gonna park on the sidewalk. We're gonna park. We're gonna pull our car in over here at this hospital right here. I'm gonna pull in right here at the in this hospital. And we're gonna 
deal with her right here, since we're literally not, f and we're not far from the, the local police department. So we're gonna go ahead and get her out of the car. I'm gonna pull her out of the car right now. Find out who she is, if she's wanted at all. And then, if she's wanted, well, either way, even if she's not wanted, she's going to jail anyways, uh, for solicitation. So, either way, she's in trouble, she's going to jail anyways. You got ID? Duddy. Okay, Dottie. Okay. I am not... Rosales, huh? Dottie Rosales. Alright, well, she's gonna be going to jail anyways, but we're gonna go ahead and, uh... We're still gonna run her name anyway. Just because... We can. Even though, technically, we're... We as an officer are not really... As a male officer, we're not really supposed to put search a female. At least, uh... In my area, where I'm from, I don't think a a, uh, per, a male officer is actually. I don't think they're allowed to in my area. Oh, you got some trouble, asshole! Oh yeah, she definitely has some trouble, and she is an asshole because uh, she just screwed that cab driver. He got himself killed because he wanted to resist and flee on us. So, but she's not going to be charged with that. She's going to be charged with uh, solicitation. She's going to be charged with solicitation of prostitution and all that. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get her in our cruiser and then uh, get her transported. And the reason, folks, why I don't use uh, a prisoner, another uh, unit to come and get her to get any of my... Uh, any people I arrest, they tend to crash out. So it's kind of pointless right now using a uh, another having another unit come and get them. So we're gonna drop her off at the uh, local police department down here. Uh, I know it's telling us to go to the, to the right, but we're not doing that. Now, what we're doing is we're going to take her to art of the department we started at, and then uh, we're going to wrap the video here. We're going to call that a, an episode and, and everything, so um, after we get her uh, dropped off to PD, um, I'm not 100% sure of what day this video is going to be uploaded, um, but I am going to try to get it uploaded as soon as I can. Now, we don't need to be going code 2 to transport this lady to the station, but I kind of want to get her down there as quickly as I can. Yes, folks, um, I don't really need to do this, but I'm, I'm choosing to do it. I don't have to, I know. Um, most departments won't transport like this. Um, I'm choosing to right now. Because I'm going to end up 
stopping the episode after I get her transported to the station. So once she's in the station, we'll go from there. Uh, oh, we'll uh, try to get this video up as soon as we can. And of course, we take the stop sign down off of the gate. That's okay. It's not my department, so it's not my responsibility. Okay, we're at our car shut down. Uh, let's see what she's gonna get. Let's see what they're gonna say to her whenever they get her out of the car. Excuse me. Okay, let's skip that cutscene. So, all right, folks. Uh, that's gonna do it for this episode of LCPDFR. I. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, again, uh, like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you did enjoy this video. Um, and again, folks, any suggestions uh, for cars or uniforms or whatnot to try out, uh, leave them in the comments with a link for me. I'll look at them. I'll test them out before I uh, can record. Um, and if you don't see it, whatever you give your when you give your suggestion in the next video, um, it's probably because my game or my computer cannot this current computer of mine cannot handle that particular uh, whatever item it is, whether it's a car, uniform, or whatnot. Um, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, take care. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode, and uh, stay safe out there.